read it all together and this is the very interesting thing about love do you have relationships in your life right now an expectation on that or that relationship to provide for you what you cannot provide for yourself Have you ever had that expectation, expectation on another person that they can do for you, be for you, create for you something you can't create, be for yourself? Okay. Case in point, because um, through the many years of my being in formation work, a lot of the youth they're attracted to people who are interesting to them. I will not even say anything else but that. But the person's interesting. Oh, you're so interesting. <laughs> I'm attracted to you. Yeah, because the, it sparks an, um, an uh, excitement. Mm, they're not really in love yet. Eh. They, they just in, you find it interesting, and so they want to be with you. And then, suerte na lang. If, you're the opposite gender or whatever. What you're trying to, um, what happens there is, it is an intuition for you to be drawn to someone who has qualities you don't ha have. And it's alright. You're drawn to people who have qualities you don't have. That's why they're called crushes, because you admire them. You supposedly admire them. The thing is, when it turns into a relationship, and, in, and instead of you working on being the best you can be, because that person has the qualities the man that you don't have, you expect that person to just be themselves, and for you to just be yourself, not trying to improve anything about yourself. And so that relationship became, becomes something that is no longer healthy. 